Oh, if you do any wood turning, you probably end up with little bits of wood like this left over. Just sort of random small bits of wood that you're not sure what to do with. Well, one of the things you can do is make pin cushions. So here's one I've started making out of oak. Well, I've made the, the actual holder. I've just got to make the material cushion that goes in there. Uh, can't really get much simpler than that. There's a, a slightly smaller one. This one's made out of a piece of apple. And all I've done is hollowed it out so that we can put a, a pad in there and it will be one little pin cushion. It's easy to do. So I've got a piece of wood in the lathe. This is a piece of hazel, I think. And all I'm going to do is shape it so it's probably similar to that, just a rounded sort of shape, and then hollow out the inside. Right. There's the basic shape. I might make some adjustments to it in a bit. Next, I'm going to hollow out the inside. And to do that, I'm just going to use a force a bit in the lathe. Just get rid of that. Drill bit. So I'm just going to put it in the chuck. That's a 32 mil bit. Probably fine. Don't really want to make it too big. You can always take a little bit of extra wood out with a chisel if you need to. gone roughly it doesn't have to be too deep but you want to be able to get a, a good amount of pad and wadding in there to make it a nice sort of compact pin cushion so I'll drill that down a bit more Next, I'm just going to hollow out the inside a little bit. Basic shape. 
there's a few little cracks in it which I filled with a bit of super glue that'll be fine uh, all I need to do now is take it off the lathe tidy the bottom up and then it's ready for the pad And then uh, before I put the pads in, I'll give them a buff up so they're nice and shiny. And that's that really. It's not bad. It's a quick thing to do if you've got a few offcuts. Right, let's get on and finish them off. Right, so you've made your little wooden holder if you like. Here's the one I made out of oak. I've already made the actual pin cushion part for it. I've made a couple of others as well. So that one using uh, a bit of denim. That one's some cord, which I thought was quite a nice colour. I've made a couple of other actual holders since then so this piece <coughs> this is made out of a piece of fur so yeah christmas tree basically that's what that was made from and again i've used a, a sort of burgundy colored cord for that one and i made this one which is a piece of cherry now we've got to make the little pad you can actually you know stick your needles or whatever in and that's easy enough to do you take a circle of fabric and believe me my needlework skills are not very good at all so this is about 12 centimeters across which i find is about right obviously if you make a larger pincushion you need a larger bit of fabric and it's always better to start with something a little bit too big because then you can take it off if you need to and you need something to stuff it with as well this is like the um i don't know if it's polyester or something like that stuff that you find inside cushions so basically everything here is recycled so the wood is a scrap piece of wood the material you can get that anywhere you can go to charity shops and buy old clothes this particular piece of cord is actually off uh, one of my kids a pair of trousers that they had when they were younger and we've kept the fabric because it's quite a nice color denim again that was a pair of old jeans i think um and like obviously the bits of cord are scrap bits of fabric and you can use something you know plain or something patterned like this one for example which has got little like i don't know seed pods i think they are that's what they kind of look like so anyway so we've got a wad in we've got a piece of fabric which has got a well this one's got like a little hexagon pattern on it and we're going to need a bit of this as well steel wool the reason being is, is we're going to mix a bit of that in with the wadding and that helps keep your, need, keep your needles sharp as well. I think they used to use things like crushed walnut shells and stuff as well. But you don't need a lot and you should probably try and use something that's quite fine. So I'm going to rip a bit of this off and mix it in with the wadding. quite a lot of wadding you'd be surprised how much of this you can stuff into something that size so we we'll mix the wool into it and 
and we're going to make the pad. I mean, you could sew around the edge of this first, like a kind of like a drawstring bag. Uh, but like I said, my needle works skills aren't very good. So basically, what you do is you stuff it in to your piece of material. Probably better than I'm doing now. Until you've got all the edges round, and there's your pad, basically, like that one. And then you've just got to go and stitch it. So once you've got that, your little pad, then you've just got to get it in your pot, which is easy enough. You just pop it in. And I'm using I'm using a little lolly stick here just to poke. The pad if I actually take that out I can show you so when you turn the inside of the the actual wooden part if you recess it so it's got a lip there you can get a nice edge on the material it also helps as well if the material you use has got a bit of give in it. So something like a stretch fabric would probably work quite well. But obviously it's got to be thick enough to put up with being stabbed repeatedly with needles and pins. But you just pop your pad in. And then using the lolly stick just poke it down a bit more so that it kind of pops into that recess. also use it to tidy the edge up as well by poking the material in if you've got enough padding and that in the little sort of cushion part then it won't pop out easily anyway but you can always just put a blob of hot glue or something in the bottom of the wood and stick it in but that's basically it okay there you go. And that's basically how I make pin cushions, and it's just out of scrap little bits of wood. Um, you know, probably got scrap bits of wood if you do any wood turning. Doesn't even have to be a large piece of wood either. You can get a, a good sort of size pin cushion out of a relatively small piece. Right. I'll get on and finish this one off. And uh, we'll be done. There we go. So, stuck my pad in there, look. And there we go. Five little pin cushions. Made from offcuts, scrap bits of wood, scrap bits of material, and uh, the wadding from an old pillow, and a bit of wire wool. They're a fairly easy thing to make. You can even make them even if you don't have a lathe. All you need really is something to make a, a hole in a piece of wood. So you could quite easily make them by hand. Right. Okay. So. Thanks for watching. <laughs>